Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Sean Mitchell, Denver real estate agent with Co-Listings, and I'm out here on site. Uh, I'm checking the status of one of my clients' new homes that they're building out here in Erie, Colorado with Oakwood Homes. And uh, I just started to think, maybe I should do a video about five things that everyone should really know when they start the process of building a new house with a home builder. So let's go ahead and jump into that because I think that there are gonna be some things, whether you decide to use a real real estate agent or not will be really, really insightful. So the first one is that the contract that you sign to build a new house is all designed to protect the home builder. And this is this definitely varies from the contract that you sign when you decide to buy an existing house. Uh, that contract, when you decide to buy an existing house, is all designed to protect you as a buyer. However, when you build a new house, it's designed to protect the builder. And unfortunately, that is just the way that it is. And so, uh, Having that in mind, you understand that, that you're on their terms because they're putting up a lot of upfront capital to be able to build this house. The second thing you should know is that because it is a new home, home builders aren't as willing to negotiate on price, especially when the house has not been built yet. The price is what it is and that's how it goes. The only exception that I've seen personally is that when they've got a spec home or an inventory home uh, that, that, that's been built and they've used to sort of show uh, interested buyers what the physical house looks like. Sometimes builders need to offload on these houses and they'll offer incentives, discounts on the house or incentives for real estate agents to bring their buyer clients by to buy the house. If you happen to find a spec or inventory home, one of the things that you can do before you engage in that negotiation is just inquire about how long this house has been sitting on their inventory books. This may give you some insight into how willing they are to negotiate down on their asking price for that spec home. Since it is a new house that hasn't been built yet and the new builder is not as willing to negotiate on the purchase price, where they might have some wiggle room is adding on some additional items to the purchase of the house at no extra cost or doing some make goods. I just had some buyers close on their new home build and we ran into some delays, uh, some, some significant delays. And one of the things that I helped them negotiate is uh, an AC unit installed at no extra cost. So when a home builder is experiencing delays or maybe you found that they've messed something up or haven't done something that they said they were going to do, that could be an opportunity for you as the home buyer to negotiate something added in at no extra cost for you. The next thing to know is to definitely get everything in writing. And this is something that real estate agents are very, very well trained on because if it's not in writing, it doesn't exist. And this becomes invaluable to you as a home buyer because sometimes there's mix up or confusion about maybe something that the builder has said they were going to do, but hasn't done yet and maybe has forgotten or overlooked. And sometimes there's a confusion about what your expectations are in what's going to be done with your house and what the builder's expectation is. Having something in writing, in email, and or added to the contract can be extremely helpful for you in removing any confusion. The last and final thing that you should know before buying a new home is that it really is in your best interest if you hire a real estate agent. Number one, and probably most importantly for you, it doesn't cost you anything extra. The home builder typically pays the commission for the buyer's agent. And I would definitely double check on that. That's certainly the case here in Colorado. Uh, and it may not be the case everywhere, but it definitely helps you to have a real estate professional who is very well accustomed to things like negotiating and really, really reading through uh, real estate contracts to be able to help guide you in that process. The other piece that I found really valuable for my clients is just as a real estate professional, I'm in this space working with clients, working real estate deals seven days a week, 50 plus hours during those seven days, and I've just got more time in the seat 
seat. And most real estate agents will feel very, very comfortable and very willing and happy to help you knowing that it's not costing you, you anything extra, but helping make that process easier. If you've got a busy schedule, this can also be a really handy thing to have someone helping you in that process. Just looking out an extra set of eyes to make sure that everything goes at, as smooth as possible. That wraps up the five things you should know before you decide to build a new house in a new community. Hope you found it really helpful. And if you have any additional questions or something that I didn't cover, feel free and put it in the comments down below. I'll see everyone on the next video.